uh, seems to be four. Okay, well, let's say this four here, uh, which gives us a rank, a rank of this one is ranked eighth. Eighth, and the next largest value is this four here. This is ranked ranked ninth. Okay, this is ranked ninth, and let's just keep in mind that these two values here, okay, that these two values values here are ranked uh, are the same values, although they've been given different ranks. And we'll deal with them now in a moment. At uh, the next value in the data set. Uh, let's see. Did I miss something? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I missed six. This is six. This is six. This is seven. And this is this is this is eight here. Okay. So the next value in the data set is four point eight. Uh, so that's given a nine. And the next value is five. Uh, the next largest, largest, which is ranked at position ten. Okay. So let's just leave these, and we see that we have we have, uh, as I said, observations that are repeating. Let's not worry about that. Let's rank the next variable, which is uh, the ranks of y. Okay. Let me just get a ruler here. The ranks of y. Uh, so the ranks of y are the, well, the smallest value is is two if I'm not mistaken so that gets ranked one the next smallest value is a three that gets ranked two the next smallest value is is a four oh let's just label the we did the two we did the three the next smallest value is this four here so that it gets a three and um, but this four here uh, gets ranked at position four, so we have two values now that are that are quite that are actually uh, the same. Okay, uh, so let's just label these over here. So it's this value here is associated with with this value here. Okay, uh, the next value then is a five. Okay, so the five here gets ranked at position at position five. Okay, the next largest value seems to be, if I'm not mistaken, seems to be the ten. So that gets a position that's the sixth value to see in the list the next largest value is the 12 here okay so that's the the seventh value and the next largest value is the 15 and uh, the seventh that's the eighth value the next largest value is the 16 uh, so that's the ninth value and the next largest value in the data set is 24 and that here is the tenth value so now what we have is we have a set of ranks albeit in some cases they represent uh, we've given different ranks to the same scores so what we need to do is to get, make sure that the same scores get the same rank okay what we do is the ranks that we've given to them uh, we average them okay uh, so or x or x let's say let's call this or x squiggle yeah just to say that this is the updated ranks okay uh, and then we need or uh, y squiggle to say that this is the updated y values okay so well the seven and eight uh, represent represent the four and the four here so the average of seven and eight is 7.5 so that should be given a 7.5 and this should be given a 7.5 uh, these two 2.5s well one was ranked third and the other was four so the average of three and four is seven divided by two gives us 3.5 so that should be given a 3.5 and that should be given a 3.5 and everything else remains the same so that's a two that's a five that's a ten that's a one this is a six and this is a nine okay and likewise now when we look at the uh, the ranks of the y variable money spent you can see that these two values here these two fours and uh, we're given two different ranks. So we're given a three and a four. A uh, three and four is seven divided by two because it was two of them. It uh, gives us three point five. So that's given a three point five, and this is given a three point five. And everything else remains the same. This is a one, an eight, a six, a ten. Uh, this is a five, a two, a nine, and a seven. Okay. So now we have the ranks. Now we can calculate the distance between them, the differences, the squared differences. Okay. The squared differences. So what we need to do is. We need to calculate the squared differences, and don't forget the differences. The differences are going to be equal to, let's say, uh, or the ranks of the x variable minus the ranks of the y variables. Okay, and the squared ones is going to be we're going to square them. Okay. Uh, so, and I'm going to need my calculator to s maybe to do a summation here. So let's see what we have here. So we have we have. The first variable is 7.5, minus 8 gives us minus 0.5, and we have minus 0.5 squared gives us a 0 0.25, okay? And then we have 2 minus 1 gives us 1, and we have 1 squared gives us gives us 1. We have 5 minus 3.5 gives us 1.5. 1.5 to be squared gives us a value of 2.25, 2.25. We have 7.5 minus 6 gives us 1.5, and once again 1.5 squared gives us 
2.25. We have 10 minus 10 gives us 0. 0 squared is 0. We have 1 minus 3.25 gives us uh, 2.5. Uh, and 2.5 squared gives us a value